Hi guys, so in this video we'll be discussing about React Bootstrap badges. So uh, if you've used uh, Bootstrap before, then you might remember that we had a class called badge in Bootstrap. So this is also uh, this is also Bootstrap only, but this is for React, and we can we can do the same thing in React also. So to create a badge we can see that uh, the documentation gives us gives us an example so let's try to copy this and over here uh, i have a basic create react tab opened up and i'll just paste the code over here now since we're using the badge from react bootstrap we'll need to import it Now I'll save the file and let's see in the browser. Now you can see just by copying that code in our project, we now have a badge. Now in the documentation, we can see that we can actually change the variant. Like over here, they're using the secondary variant, which, which gives us this gray color. We can also use different variants like primary, secondary, success so these these will give us different colors all right and another thing is that uh, we can create badges of different sizes like if you want a badge uh, that that is having a size equal to the h1 so the only thing we have to do is we, we just have to put put the badge inside the h1 tag and that will auto automatically create a badge of size h1 and same for uh, other heading sizes like for h6 we just have to uh, put our badge inside the h6 tag all right so moving ahead we can also create badges inside buttons so you can see that over here uh, in this example we have a react bootstrap button which has a variant of primary hence it has this blue color and inside this we, we are creating a badge which is the, which is this nine you can see that and this is the code for this let's copy this and let's try it out in our own own editor now since we're using button from react bootstrap we we'll need to import it let's save the file and let's see our browser now you can see that we have the same thing that we had in the documentation Over here we can see that we can also create badges directly like if you want a badge like this then all we have to do is we have to write this code like earlier we uh, we declared our badge inside the h1 tag and hence it had this big size or we could also declare it inside the h6 tag which would have a size like this but if but if you want to have a pill type of feel to it so we can directly declare a badge and uh, this is how mostly badges are used and you can see that the documentation shows us the different variants that we can use over here so you can play with that now moving ahead we can also create badges that has that has rounded corners like this and this is actually called a pill so to create uh, something like this all we have to do is we just have to add pill to the badge so let's copy this and paste it in our editor we'll save the file and let's see now you can see that we have a pill now let's also try it out with some other color let's try out danger which is essentially red i'll copy this I'll, uh, and i'll paste it over here And now you can see that I have a pill that, that is of red color. And in the end, we can see that the documentation very nicely gives us the API. So this is basically a summary. So these are all the props that we can use with the batch component from React Bootstrap. Let's go through them one by one. The first prop is as it helps us to customize a component. Like for example, by default, a span is rendered in the DOM when we use a batch component. 
in many cases we we might want to use a p tag or a div for this batch so this gives us full control over how this is rendered in the dom now i'll show you an example now this is our demo website let's inspect it now in the dom you can see that this pill is rendered as a span and by default it is rendered rendered as a span as we saw in the documentation by default a span is rendered now using the as prop we can manipulate it and make it whatever we want now in our code editor suppose we want to render this batch as a pin as a p tag in the dom all we have to do is we can write as is equal to p now let's save a file and now let's deselect the element in the dom and now you can see that we have a p tag the behavior is same but how it is rendered in the dom has changed so this is how the as attribute helps us to get more control over the batch another prop is the pill prop that we discussed earlier it uh, it it gives us rounded corners in our batch as we can see that here and the third attribute is variant this also we discussed like we can provide different variants uh, these are basically different colors like primary is blue secondary is gray and so on the fourth and the last prop is bs prefix i'll explain it to you by an example let's go to our website and over here in the dom we can see that we've got a class of batch batch hyphen pill space batch hyphen danger so what bs prefix allows us to do is we can we can edit this batch like this is given via bootstrap so we can edit this prefix that is batch right now and we can name it any how we want now i'll show you how we can do it in code suppose we want to change the prefix of class in this batch so all we have to do is we have to write ps prefix is equal to and now we have to decide what we want to call the prefix now for example let's call it my batch let's save the file and go back now you can see that everywhere we had batch earlier now we have my batch so this is what bs prefix allows us to do so i hope you like this video guys please don't forget to like and subscribe and that's it for this video guys bye